All right, guys, so I am back on YouTube. I am back from the field, back from gunnery. I literally just got back. You can see I'm still dirty, still wearing the same thing I've been wearing the past couple days. No shower. I tried staying as active as possible on like Snapchat and Instagram while I was gone. If you aren't following me on those platforms yet, my links are in the description box below. Um, but I'm back now. So I recorded the past 30 days or so, four weeks, and I want to show you the highlights of the clips that I picked up on. So check it out. So when we're not in the field, we're not gunnery, we're not like shooting weapon systems. We do come back to like this main containment area where we resupply, get everything like taken care of and situated for the next range. And they do have a gym. It's not much, but I'll show you what they got. So it's more like functional fitness oriented. Um, they have a bunch of machines, but they lack weights. So uh, while I'm here, I can probably do a bunch of like bicep, tricep stuff, shoulder stuff. Um, I'll kind of just like make up workouts as I go. Yeah, not my typical split. So I don't know what happened to all the weights. Obviously someone took them with them. Um, but they have a rock climbing wall and then they have like battle ropes and a prowler. So they have something I can use. You know, I can get some sort of workout in here. So it's not too bad. All right, I will show you guys a very typical army breakfast. Army eggs, chicken, like chicken tenders, waffle, the syrup, grits, apple, two slices of bread, Milk that will last forever, pops, and peanut butter and jelly. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> So just got a workout in. I did chest and triceps, a little bit of shoulders tonight, like a push day. And then I did some, some pull-ups with the pull-up bars. But the way we're running right now is it's all range days during the day and it's 12 on, 12 off. So each platoon does a shift. So my platoon, first platoon is day shift and then third platoon is night shift. Um, so we'll be out all day and we come back to kind of our, our post that is, it's forward from Camp Casey right now. And then we'll hit the gym, we'll refit, get showers and stuff, get food. Uh, me and the LTs right now are about to go get dinner at the Katusa snack bar which is like this this Korean couple older couple barely speaks any English will make you pretty much anything you want like bulgogi rice chicken sandwiches so we're gonna get some food right now before we go to bed thank you sir So the beef, egg, and cheese is like the easiest way to get some high protein here at the KSP. So it's pretty much just bulgogi, two slices of white bread, one egg, slice of cheese, and then I will throw on some ketchup. And that's it. So I'll sign on as OSC for this range. And then what time am I going out to shoot table three then? Okay. Oh, that's something to pick you up. That works. So what we just did was team live fire qualification. So like to break down gunnery for you guys, if you're not tracking what, what's really going on right now, is gunnery is a platoon qualification on your vehicles, your weapon systems. Um, so simultaneously, you're doing like Bradley qualification, which is our Bradley vehicles. You go shoot tables. So your crew shoots and you can qualify as a, a crew and on each vehicle. And then as a section, as a platoon. Um, at the same time, your dismounts are doing weapon qualification. So we did M4, machine gun qualification, and then we moved to team and then squad. So by the end of the whole month training, our dismounts are qualified on the weapon systems and as a group, and then our mounted section is qualified as well. So we can do platoon qualifications and then you have a qualified platoon at the end of it. Um, so that's done. And then lunch right now, I'm gonna grab an MRE. 
So beef stew is honestly one of the better ones. It's higher in protein. This is what I'm about to break open. So right now it is 6.30 a.m. Friday morning. Got to sleep around 3 a.m. last night. So with all these qualifications that we do, um, we need to do a day iteration and a night iteration. So typically, like, the platoon leader, the leadership, we're bouncing back and forth between the dismounted ranges, the gunnery ranges for the next couple of days. And that's just the cycle. And that's how it was last summer, too. So not really much sleep during gunnery. So what well, I see right now for a range, um, but everyone's going to munch. So I figured I would bring up this topic because it's something I've been thinking about. This is my last major field problem while being in the military and the army. And like this moment right here, these moments, these are were majority of my experiences, memories, thoughts of the army stem and are, are like formed in the field. Like when we're sucking, when we're tired, we're not sleeping, we're eating just MREs, I'm with like the platoon. Those have been the good times, those are the things I'm gonna remember. It's like not at the, the moment itself when everyone's sucking, but weeks and months later, these are the, the times that we talk about. That's what I'm gonna miss most about my military experience. So I've been trying to drink a bunch of water by being out here. This is two liters right here. I drink two of these a day. It's been brutally hot, brutally hot. Last night, so we're all stuffed in the back of the track here. I can't film anything back this way just because of OPSEC. This is my bench right here, my driver who's still asleep, gunner. So, like, within all three of us, we're in arm's reach all night. So, one thing I can't shoot in the track or film is the, the turret, which is right behind me, just for operational security. But the best thing the army gives out to us, these things right here, they come with chow occasionally, these Welch's peanut butter and jelly graham cracker sandwiches. It's essentially just like Two graham crackers with peanut butter and jelly in the middle. I will show you, these are gold. So be very careful though, that you don't break the graham cracker as you're opening it up. So graham, peanut butter, jelly, absolute money. So we came back in from the field last night and we have one day recovery before going back out tomorrow and hitting table six, which is our our crew qualification. Um, so I'm gonna hit a workout right now. The gym opens at 05, it's not even 05 yet, but I wanna knock it out early before the day starts and we just get too busy. Came to the gym this morning though, and while I was gone, I guess the scouts brought a few barbells, some bumper plates, so today I'm gonna do back and biceps, and I can actually do some deadlifts this morning, which is clutch. What's up? 
So I've said it before, and I will say it again. The people here in Korea give the best haircuts. So this haircut right here will take, back in the States, maybe five minutes to cut. Here it took 30 minutes to cut. So they brought one lady here on post to cut everyone's hair. So I waited in line for a while. But they go into so much depth and detail. And it's, you know, back at home it's $12. Here it's $12. I tipped $3 because she just did that good of a job. But they cut it, they shampoo, they use like eight different creams and conditioners and it feels good, it looks good, they texturized it, texturized it, I always ask them to do it because my hair is like thick, so they'll just like thin it out a little bit. Best haircuts in Korea. Who sent you this box of stuff? It's the most addicting snacks ever. Chocolate covered almonds, and then slowly sour bite crawlers. So he's been sitting all day, I'm just picking them up and eating them. So the humidity here is absolutely insane. Like my camera will not stop fogging up and it's it's really bad right now, but it's 9 p.m. Just got done with a six mile run. We did it in about 40 minutes. Uh, all the PLs in the company and then our, our battalion XO. This is like literally so fogged up, I can't see anything. It's brutal, the humidity is brutal out here. So one more week in the field and then we're back. And then tomorrow we leave this containment area and we go to a different training site and finish up there. But yesterday what we did, and it rained the entire day yesterday on us, we did our platoon collective training, which was absolutely awesome. Like for me as a platoon leader, it's the most fun I get to do because we're incorporating uh, infantry, tanks, artillery, calling in fire missions, uh, maneuvering and coordinating with air assets. So Kiowas and Apaches. And it's to a point where it's almost overwhelming. I can only imagine what it's like to handle all of those assets in a combat environment. I haven't had the opportunity to, to practice it there. Can only imagine. Um, but I think that's kind of why I like running my business in and being an entrepreneur so much is because sometimes you just feel overwhelmed. And that honestly, it, like, it jacks me up because we got on station yesterday and I was coordinating with all the assets and it just like, it gets me so excited because you're almost overwhelmed with the amount of things that you're trying to handle. And it's just super exciting. So. Yesterday that was finished, and then we're going on to the next thing, and then almost done and almost back home. There's these stray dogs all over this post that we're at right now, and he wants this Korean MRE. So today is August 1st. Uh, we have a few more training days and events out here. We're training with the Rock Army. Um, so we're on one of their military posts. We're eating all their food with them, doing all their training with them. Two big things they do differently than we do is uh, the way they sleep. So when we sleep in like barracks, we have bunks and beds. They just sleep on like one solid platform. Everyone's next to each other. And then their chow they eat. Now a lot of the foods that we get fed is like processed foods, our MRE stuff we get fed in the chow hall. But their diet is primarily like clean foods. Like even their MREs, which I'll show you right here what it looks like. And this dog is still chilling next to me. So comes a little package like this. I guess this is one of their older versions. So in this right here, you just get some rice. And the way they heat it up is they just take these out of the bag, boil it, and then the, the food on the inside boils and, and heats up. Uh, this is a second thing of rice actually. One is just regular, one is kimchi rice. This right here is a, a red chili paste. And then this right here is kimchi, which I'm really not a fan of. And the last thing you get is fish. Now I've had one that was sardines. This one is just like a regular fish. So this is the Korean MRE, very different from the typical American one. So this is gonna wrap up the video guys. This uh, kind of wraps up the last couple weeks of training, kind of showing like the highlights of the good stuff. About to do the last mission, and the last uh, iteration and lane we have for the entire time we leave in the next couple days. Um, so this is probably my last lane that I'm gonna do the rest of my time being a PL on this track with this crew. So, talk to you guys in the next video. Red seven is the red one right here, check. Seven is the red one.